very quickly. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I originally made this video. And I'm actually recording this thing just to come back and tell you guys, uh, do not do this to your car. Do not do this to your Crown Victoria. Not necessarily because it's a bad thing, but it's incredibly loud. It is ridiculously loud. It is unbearably loud. Doing this to your Crown Victoria, especially if you use it as a daily driver, I do not recommend this remember guys i'm turning this car into a rally slash track car i'm not driving this car on a daily basis right now i'm telling you guys watch the video enjoy it for entertainment purposes but do not do this to your car if you value your ears now on a lighter note it actually did make my car faster at least zero to 60 originally this car zero to 60 was 8.8 .8 or nine seconds now the zero to 60 is 8.15 to 8.22 yeah that's like 0.40 something of a, of a couple of seconds but you know what it's actually a significant difference this actually does make your car faster adds maybe about two horsepower but the point is it actually does work either way hope you guys heed my warning enjoy the video <laughs> Hold on, homie. Let me get in that, that stands, homie. What's going on, YouTube? It's your little homie, Mr. Random. And today, we're going to cut the mufflers off the Crown Victoria. And we're going to make this thing sound loud AF. Y para todos ustedes que no me entienden, le vamos a cortar los mufflers y va a sonar un chingo son. Chingo son. So, if you guys didn't know what I did last time was, I cut the mufflers off the black Crown Victoria. I only cut off the back mufflers, and it sounds it sounds for full, homie. But now today we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're not just gonna cut the mufflers. We're gonna cut the rear cats. That's right. You probably didn't know your Crown Victoria has a set of four cats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the last two rear cats. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second how to do that. But for now, I'm gonna have to put my uh, white voice on so the rest of my audience can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Just to recap what I was saying, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're pretty much just going to cut out the the last two cats. Well, it has four going up towards the headers, and then it has two coming right under that. We're going to cut off the last two catalytic converters on our Crown Victoria. Like always, you already know I'm going to do a little bit uh, before and after. And I tried it out with a black Crown Vic, and uh, it's crazy. The, the difference... The noticeable difference is absolutely insane. We're gonna get the first group of people who actually watch the video, they enjoy it, they give it a like, and they go about their daily lives. Then there is a second group of people, and those people are gonna be talking about how you're losing back pressure. See, what those people don't know is that back pressure is essentially a myth. It's been debunked before. There's a lot of mainstream YouTube channels. There's uh, Chris Fix, Engineering Explained, there's a bunch of articles on the internet about it. Back pressure is an absolute myth. All you got to do is just look it up on Google, man. It takes seconds. I'm, the only time you're going to need anything that has to do with back pressure is if your car is turboed. On a naturally aspirated big old V8, the less restriction you have on your muffler, the better. And then the last third group of people who are going to watch this, and I'm just going about this based on the last muffler, uh, the muffler delete video that I did on the black Crown Vic, is we're going to get all the EPA... Uh, environmentally friendly hazmat certified OSHA engineers that are going to be talking about like oh man you're going to die from the fumes you're going to be sitting in traffic and you're going to pass out from the exhaust fumes and you're going to die and all this crap man listen I drove the black Crown Vic with no mufflers and then after a while I ended up cutting out the last two cats I just never made a video about it and I drove that car for two years and perfectly fine it's going to be loud as hell this is going to be insanely loud ridiculously loud i'm talking about open headers nascar car stock car loud this is gonna be stock car loud all right full so what you're gonna want to do for is you're gonna get down here man all right so freaking can't here we go here we go perfect perfect this these are the cats that we're gonna be cutting guys those are your other sets of cats and it goes right back down here there's your oxygen sensor. These are the cats we're gonna cut off. We're gonna cut right after the oxygen sensor. You see where the oxygen sensor is? We're gonna go about two inches and we're gonna cut 
right there. All right, guys, you need to keep in mind the moment you cut out any of your catalytic converters, your check engine light is going to automatically come on and pretty much your car is going to be telling you there is an issue with your oxygen sensors. Anybody who's ever removed their cats or had a straight pipe car, this won't be anything new to you. So here's another deterrent for you. The first one is you're going to have a car that sounds like a monster truck. The second one is you're going to have to live with a check engine light on pretty much uh, every day of your life. If that isn't a deterrent enough to uh, make you not cut out your rear cats on your Crown Vic, then hey, you're on your own. Enjoy the rest of the video. And the tools of the trade what you're going to want to use for any muffler kind of cutting we have our harbor fright like 20 30 dollar reciprocating saw you can get yourself an entire exhaust system it's going to sound so badass for the price that it costs to pretty much just buy one of these this is what we're going to be using to cut our cats our last rear cats and then what's going to happen is the whole muffler system is going to drop and we're going to cut off the last two supports on the right and on the left side god damn it i didn't record the last part this is what it looks like they're gonna be dangling like that you don't want that to fall on you i could have sworn i was recording that last piece it's pretty much the same thing i did on that side guys all right guys just to make this a little bit easier i'm gonna cut this in three parts so there's our cats and we're gonna cut right here we're gonna cut this side we're gonna cut the same side over there this whole thing this whole section right here it's gonna drop the mufflers are gonna drop and then i can cut the last piece of those mufflers so it'll be three sections the end the middle All right, guys, we are officially done. It was a huge pain in the ass, but then again, anything that's usually car related usually never is easy. Anyways, now it's time to hear a little before and after, and then we're gonna do some flybys. We're gonna shoot down the road and see just how loud this damn Crown Victoria just got. Okay, so here's gonna be the before sound portion. Here we go, I'm just gonna crank it up. We're gonna do this live. Cars turned on. You can barely hear this thing, man. It's crazy. It's a little cold outside. If you see some white steam, it's like 50 something. It's crazy in the middle of April. Anyways. take you guys on a little ride along so you can hear just how loud it sounds from the inside all right guys here we go damn this thing's loud oh my god whoa oh my god that's loud <laughs> yeah! the butt dino approves of this modification Oh my god! Alright, we're gonna do a screech pull. We're gonna do a screech pull. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! Put you back into your seat! 